What's up, Stackers University? So great to be back and feeling good. Let's go. It starts with a few ounces of silver. Then you start stacking. And the next thing you know, you're a silver stacker, stacking for all your goals. But 2,000 ounces of silver can seem so impossible when you're just stacking a few ounces at a time. So what can you do when 2,000 ounces seem so far away? Well, about a week ago, yep, you guessed it, I was minding my own business just like normal. And I'm thumbing through YouTube and I see this absolutely insane thumbnail from Salivate Metal. I've seen stacks before. Heck, I feel like my stack is pretty impressive. But this stack, his stack, it was different. It looked, well, let's just say it seemed like the next level of stacking. I'm just saying, I got a big stack. But Uncle Sal's stack, that stack was, wait. We're still talking about silver stacking, right? Because I think things just got weird, or maybe that's just me. Well, that was an awkward moment. How about we get back to stacking? Uncle Sal's stack got me to thinking, and a number of important issues and lessons popped up for me that I felt like were important to share as they impact each of us. I'm going to start with what I believe is the most important lesson first. Never compare stacks because comparison is the stealer of joy. Regardless, one of the challenges with watching us creators on YouTube is that it's very easy to feel FOMO. You see the pretty coins, the BS boutique silver, you know what I mean that would love, like this gorgeous $100 bill bar or this Archangel Michael bar, and you start to think that's what we all should be stacking. And it might even make you want to buy one yourself. How could it not? I'm a creator and I see some of these coins and it makes me want to buy them. I mean, if we're being really honest, my fancy coin display, it ain't very impressive. But it is consistent with what I preach. Buy the lowest premium, most recognized products you can, and then buy a few pieces here and there that make you happy. What's important is that you don't see these visuals and start to compare yourselves or your stack to what others have. This comparison thief only brings out negatives such as feeling inadequate, deflated, or like somehow you're less than or that you haven't made it as far as you should have. I've shared this many times in the comment sections, but we all have to run our own race or climb our own ladder. And unfortunately, not all of us have the same climbs. The distances are different. Some of us have ladders that are sturdier than others. In a social media world where everyone flaunts excessive lifestyles or simply lifestyles that aren't even theirs, it's easy for us to feel some kind of way. In reality, you have to remind yourself that you don't know what someone else has been through. You don't know what they inherited. You don't know how long they've been stacking, how much money they make, etc. We've talked about this multiple times and I can't stress the importance of having a stacking plan and a budget. Otherwise, it becomes far too easy to get caught up in the emotions, the hype and FOMO. These feelings and emotions will cause you to overextend yourself financially, not stick to your plan, and even buy overpriced items because you gotta have it. Which leads me to the second point. When you see a stack like Sal's, you have to remind yourself that it took him over 30 years to develop that collection. And even with that, number three, I have no idea if he would endorse this, but it seems to me there's a clear message. After 30 years of stacking, what he has is a lot of important or sentimental pieces, some semi-numismatics, and a whole bunch of bars, with bars being a significant chunk of his weight. Four, in case you don't watch his channel, it's important that you know he also has stacked well over 100 ounces of gold, which also tells me a lot. He at least has a ratio of 200 to 1 silver to gold, which raises the next question, number five. Should or do you really need 2,000 ounces? While I have my own thoughts, I'm not sure those thoughts matters as that really is a personal decision. But I would like to point out number six, that 2,000 ounces isn't exactly something you can bug out with in case of a SHTF scenario. Fun fact, 2,000 ounces weighs a little over 137 pounds, which brings me to point seven and eight. Do you think he got a hernia moving all of that silver? And where in the world does Uncle Sal store more than 2,000 ounces of silver? Okay, all jokes aside, Independent of the sheer weight of ounces, it was amazing to see his stack. And for the record, I don't have any 40 in stack in me, all right? Out of respect, I've included a link to his video in the description. Without a doubt, Sal is an OG stacker, 
And I believe there's a lot to learn from him. And there's a lot for you to learn about you. Some of those takeaways you'll have to discover for yourself. Lately, I've kind of gotten away from asking people to hit the like button or to subscribe, but I really need your help. It seems that recently I've ticked off a few people. I know, it's hard to believe. And they're getting even by hitting the dislike button on our videos. So, only if you think I've offered some value to you, and if you think I deserve it, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button for me, please, and thank you for those that do. You're always welcome to subscribe and join the community. Back to the content. So often I hear comments like, I only, or I just have, I can only afford. And starting today, I want you to change that. Because at one point, Uncle Sal only had and could only afford fill in the blank. Remember, you are exactly who you are, where you need to be, doing what you're supposed to be doing at this moment. Going forward, I want you to be able to appreciate anyone's stack, but you will not feel like less than or like you aren't accomplishing something significant in comparison to someone else or their stack. You are running your own race and the only competitor is you. And the only person that can beat you is you. Undoubtedly, someone is sitting there saying, but wait, where's the stacking strategy? Well, you just got it. The most critical part of any stacking strategy starts and ends with you, your thoughts, and your ability to manage your emotions. The act of buying metals is simple, but it's complicated by who we are. Before you can manage your stack, your money, or your life, you have to start by managing you. You make decisions every day about how to spend your money or tap that card on some payment terminal. You decide how much will be available to buy metals. You want more metals, you manage you better. You want a bigger stack, you manage you better. More love in your life, you manage you better. More happiness, you manage you better. If everything is external to you and out of your control, what options do you have? When you remind yourself that you have control and you get to make the decisions, your money needs, your happiness, your stack, the love in your life, all of it will fall in line because it all and always starts and ends with you. I wanna remind you of what Nelson Mandela said. Our deepest fear is not that we are weak. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? So I tell you right now, do not be afraid of your greatness, your intelligence, your beauty, your awesomeness. You might be stacking an ounce a month today, but that doesn't mean that's where you'll be tomorrow or years from now. In a world that seems determined to make you feel like less, that you aren't good enough, that you can't be amazing or do amazing things, I reject that notion for you and for me. Let Uncle Sal's stack be a source of motivation and confirmation. Today's comment section is easy. It's all about claiming and reclaiming. I want you to choose one of the following statements or you can create your own and type it in the comment section to claim it. These statements are, I am powerful. I am more than enough. I'm getting closer every day. I will reach my goals. I will not stop or quit. I cannot be denied. I get to choose and therefore I will. I'm just amazed about how many A-plus students have stayed this far. Give yourself an A-plus. Always stack smarter. Never stop learning.